My name is Jack, and today I'm playing Nancy Drew, Warnings at Waverly Academy. Welcome back to my gameplay and commentary for Nancy Drew, Warnings at Waverly Academy. We left off, we were talking to Izzy about stuff. She gave us the password to the school computer, so that's what we're gonna work on now. Whoops. Ugh. There we go. I'm in charge of the snack shop? This should be interesting. I don't even know where it is. Well, you'll figure it out. Let's see. Watch this be the one playthrough where Rachel doesn't like any of these. Because I swear, I promise you, whenever I play this game, I'm just able to do that and she accepts it. Yeah, see, exactly. She Okay, she accepted it. Uh, I just need Becca... No, I'm Becca Sawyer. Um, <laughs> I need Megan. Megan Vargas's picture and Rachel's picture. Come on in. Greetings once again. Are you friends with Leela? No, although I used to be. Of course, that was in grade school, before she got caught up in sports. Now all she thinks about is competing and winning and school spirit. Stuff I just find pathetic. Do most kids like her? I'm not a fan, but everyone else? You bet. Do you think she's smart? Extremely, which to me makes her descent into jockdom even sadder. Do you hang out with Izzy much? I don't hang out with her at all. Yeah, she called you a I psycho. I can't stand her. She's so fake and vacuous. It's like talking to a mannequin. Would you say she's the most popular girl in your class? Absolutely. Sometimes the sound of everyone sucking up to her is positively deafening. Ugh. Who do you think the black cat is? I don't do conversations on that subject, remember? Especially when it's so obvious that it's Izzy. Does anyone else think it's Izzy? Megan, my missing in action roommate, she thinks it's Izzy too. Of course, that's because she hates Izzy for stealing her boyfriend. My reasoning is more logical. Izzy doesn't deserve to be valedictorian and she knows it. She also knows she'll never get into an Ivy League school unless she's valedictorian. So, she has to eliminate the competition. I'll let you get back to your music. Door's always open. How do I trigger the conversation of, you know, her... And she's back. Yep. I need okay. a photo of your roommate, Megan, for the school website. Would you happen to have one? Sure don't. But Leela Yadav might. She and Megan have been palling around lately. Check the rec room downstairs. I'll let you get back to your music. Sounds good. Let's see if Rachel's back. It's not locked. Okay, well, I'm being polite. Hi. Hello. Hi. I'm Becca Sawyer. Remember? I wouldn't mess up so bad. I would just Sorry, say my real I name. I totally blanked on your name. You get all the pictures uploaded? Not yet. For one thing, I need to take a picture of you. Oh, right. Let's do it. Fab, listen, be sure to let me know when you get all the pictures uploaded, okay? I can't remember. Did I tell you not to bother with Danielle Hayes' picture? No, but her name's been scratched off, so that's what I figured. Sorry, my mind is going all this paper writing, which I kind of need to get back to. I'll stop hassling you now. So long. Oh, one more question. Who do you think the black cat is? I haven't gotten any notes, so I don't know and I don't really care. See ya. Ooh, suspicious. Looks like Mel got another note. I forgot to check my messages. Oh well. Hey, what's going on? I was told I could maybe get a picture of Megan Vargas from you? Yeah, I've got a picture of her you could use. And if you beat me at a game of air hockey, I'll go get it for you. 
Bring it on. Yes. Okay. First pick yes, your mallet. Yes, I know how to then, play air hockey. after the game starts, hit the puck with your mallet and try to get it into the goal at my end. And when I hit the puck towards your goal, use your mallet to block it, if you can. Mm -hmm. You can only use your mallet on your half of the table. First person to score seven goals wins. Got it? Got it. Then let's get it on. I'm so good at this game. Just kidding. I mean, I feel like I'm better at it in real life than I am. I feel like it's easier in real life than it is in this game. But that's just... Oh, Point darn it. for me! That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. Oh, my goal! Gosh! Leela, I swear to the heavens. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my... Oh my god! I take it back. I'm not good at this. No! What? Oh, game, have mercy on me. No! Yes! I'm gonna lose! I'm playing on junior mode because I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Or a hard time. One for the good guys. Yes, because Leela's bad. No! And the winner is moi. Wanna play again? Well, I guess I have to. Sure. Okay, we're in it to win it this time. I like this game. Nancy, be quiet. I much prefer Scram, which is the other game you can play with Leela. No! Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Shut up. That wasn't even your doing, Leela. That was all my fault. Oh, Goal! my God! Maybe I should stop talking while doing this. But then I know that's pretty boring. Although, I mean, with this spicy gameplay, how could you not be entertained? But... Ugh. I wish it was just play against her. Like, why does it- why do I have to win? So thrilling for you, I'm sure to watch. As I oh point, we're tied now. Come on, Nancy, we just need four more points. We can do it. I have faith. Oh, she shoots, she scores. I don't have faith in us. What am I kidding? should be easy on a trackpad, but it, it just isn't. Oh yeah, uh-huh. I don't have good enough reflexes for this. I, I never lose this many times, I just- I win, you lose. Ugh. Wanna play again? Sure. I just wanna say, for the record, I never lose this much when I'm playing, like, just for fun. Of course I it's like when this I'm... game. Nancy, be quiet. Anyway, it's only when I'm, um... It's only when I'm trying to do commentary I like this game. that I can't seem to get it. And now the game's taking pity on me, I think. Oh, man. If only I could take pity on myself. I got a point! Ugh. 
Well, if you ever want to feel good about yourself, just play against me in air hockey. That that will boost your spirits really high. Because you will win. Nuts, you beat me. Oh, shut Guess up. Guess I owe you Megan's picture. Next time I go upstairs, I'll get it for you. You better get your ass again? up there now. No, I don't want to play no, again. thanks. Need anything else? I shouldn't have said a curse word. I'm sorry. Did you get that picture of Megan for me? Sorry, haven't gone back to my room yet. Are you and Izzy pretty good friends? We get along. We're roommates mostly because we're both valedictorian candidates, and that's just the way the room assignments worked out. So you don't know her that well? Sure I do. I mean, with Izzy, what you see is what you get. She's smart, she's pretty, she's popular, she's always got a boyfriend. That's Izzy. What more is there to know? Any idea what happened to the book of Poe stories that's missing from the library? I sure don't have it. Mel, our resident goth girl, she probably does. That freak's probably working on a way to bring him back from the dead so he can autograph it. My god, that's pretty harsh. That's it for now. Hit him hard. Like, jeez. Kind of rude. Mm. Let's see if she'll accept that. Okay, good. Now we just gotta... You know, we should do snack shop, boss. Attention, everyone. As of now, the snack shop is open. I better not get a teacher order. Oh, great. Now my game is skipping. But I really like calculus. Oh, I bet you no, do. No, you don't. No, I do. I love going to that class. Everybody does. Mr. Harris is like the best looking teacher in the whole universe. Come get your order. Oh, okay, so I said I'd tell the story. It's supposed to snow pretty oh, soon. Oh, these people Blizzard need to stop snow. talking. Anyway, as I was saying, I have a funny graduation story. Well, I mean, I guess it's funny. I think it's funny. Anyway, um, so it was my high school graduation, right? Why can't I put this down? That's what you wanted, right, Juice? Okay, anyway, uh, it was my graduation, my high school graduation. And one of the, uh, not the faculty, but, like, one of the school board people. Do-overs! Wait, what? Oh. Come get your order! One of the, uh, no, one is toasted bread. Um... One of the school board people was giving a speech, and she goes on and she's like, When I was in high school, I was a nerd, and no one liked me. And my brother was really popular, and he had a lot of friends, and he was very outgoing, and, you know, he was great, and he was popular, and he was cool. And, um... Whoops. And then she follows that up with, And now I work for the school board... And my brother is a lawyer, and he's Order up. still really popular, and everyone loves him. And it was like, what a terrible speech that was. Like, normally it's supposed to be like, you know, even if you didn't shine in high school, you still have your, like, that doesn't define what the rest of your life is going to look like. You know, speeches like that, that are more uplifting. But no, it was, you know, my, my brother was really popular, and now he's a lawyer, and he's on vacation in, like, Bermuda. And I work for the school board. I mean, there's nothing wrong with working for the school board, but that's not the- Order's ready! That's not the big own you think it is. I wonder how that woman's doing. Even my parents were like, yeah, that was a pretty bad speech. I guess it wasn't that funny now that I told it, but whatever. Either you laughed or you didn't, or you were like, oh, wow, that was dumb. There. Eh, whatever. All done. You heard a story. And I Whoa. got a key. Give me that. Wonder what this is to. We'll surely find out. Also, where is the closet that what's her hell oh, here it is. What's her face got um locked in. We'll 
need that. I think that goes to the display case over here. Or was that just always open? I don't know. Uh-oh. Leela's not gonna like that. Let's go confront her about it. It's only fair to warn you, I'm not in a very good mood right now. Oh, then I'll just come back later. How could she do it? Did she think I wouldn't mind if she started dating Jacob? Did she think I wouldn't find out? My gosh, it's all over school. You had no idea Izzy was interested in him? I'm not stupid. I could tell he was on her radar. The way she'd look at him and flirt her brains out with him. I just never figured she'd actually make a move on him while he was still dating me. I mean, who does that to their own roommate? Yeah, that's pretty low. Have you confronted her yet? No. And you know what? I don't think I will. I'm just gonna act like nothing's wrong. If she's got the guts to bring up the subject, fine. But I'm not gonna say a word. I'm gonna let her wonder just how and when I'm going to get back at her. Because I will definitely get back at her. In the meantime, I'm just gonna shake it off and get back in the game. What's up, girl? Megan. Did you get that picture of Megan for me? Sorry, haven't gone back to my room yet. I'm going to... I'll let you go. Unponytail your hair. Do you have anything to say? Not now, please. No, you're gonna talk to me. You may not come in. Just leave. No. You may not come in. Just leave. Okay, what a terrible RA. Like, seriously the worst. Come on in. How goes it? Do you by any chance have a library book called The Black Cat and Other Poe Stories? The one that's missing from the library? Sure don't. I've never been much into Edgar. He's a little over the top, even for me. I'll quit bugging you. Drop in any time. Hmm. What's up, Rumi? I met Leela. She was in the rec room. She's usually in the gym, either bouncing, kicking, hitting, or throwing some kind of ball. You name a sport, she's great at it. And competitive? That girl loves to win, and almost always does. When did she hurt her wrist? She started wrapping her wrist about a week ago, but is it actually hurt? Debatable. Could she be the black cat? Well, she's here on a scholarship, so it's real hard for me to believe she's smart enough to one, secretly be the black cat, and two, divert suspicion by faking an injury and making herself look like a victim of the black cat. But I have to admit, it is possible. Any idea where that book that's missing from the library is? Why? Are you an Edgar Allan Poe fan? I'd like to find it so I can earn some extra credits. You and me both. Unfortunately, I don't have a clue who has it. Any idea why it would be missing? Somebody must have wanted that book and not wanted anyone to know they wanted it. That's all I can figure. Did it go missing before or after notes from the black cat started showing up? Before. Right before, in fact. I see what you're getting at. It was called the black cat, wasn't it? That's kind of freaky. I better get going. Bye. Hasta whatever. Come on in. Oh, just kidding, I don't want to talk to you. That was a lie. You! Hey, what's going on? Did you get that picture of Megan for me? I've got it right here, but the only way you're going to get it from me is by beating me at Scram. What do you say? Same as before. Bring it on. Yes. Okay. Each game has two now rounds. Now this game I you like. You play one round as the blocker and the other round as the scorer. And you take turns throwing the darts. First the blocker throws three darts. Then the scorer throws three darts and so on. Now, the object of the game is for the blocker to end the round by landing a dart in any section of all 20 numbers. While the object of the game for the score is, naturally, to accumulate as many points as possible before the round ends. I assume that hitting the bullseye is worth 50 points and hitting the ring outside it is worth 25? That's right. Once all the numbers are blocked, the rolls are reversed and you play another round. After two rounds, whoever has accumulated the most points wins. 
Just like in regular darts, the harder the section of any number is to hit, the more points you get. So, you ready? I'm ready. Game on! Okay. So, in this round, you're the blocker, and you're going to try to hit the high numbers so they get crossed off the score list. Oh, don't take I think out I got 50. It. Okay, so now it's my turn to throw, and I get to score. Guess I better go for the high numbers before you take them out. I did it! Darn it, she took out 50. Okay, I guess 18 is the one that we want to go for. Bingo! Yikes. Maybe I should have saved my graduation story for now. Oh well, it's too late, I already told it. I don't really have any other that funny works. stories that I can think of off the top of my head. Oh yeah! I'm sorry I'm not more entertaining. Oh yeah! Yes! Oh, and now it's my turn. Uh, okay, so 13. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted! Bingo! That's what I wanted. Darn it. Wow, that was really bad, Leela. Where's 12? There's 12. All right! That works! Gosh, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, you're great. Nailed it! I did it! All right! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nailed it! Okay, so six. Rats. Bingo! Uh. Nailed it! Where's two? There's two. All right! Bingo! Bingo! That's not the game we're oh, playing. Yeah. We're playing Scram, not Bingo. I'm blocker this round. Okay. Bingo! Missed. Darn it, Nancy. Darn! No! Nancy! Yes! I did it! Yes, if you feel real proud of yourself. Where's 19? There it is. Yes! Okay, I wish the music still stayed on while playing this, because that would be nice. Where's 18? There's 18. 17. 16. All right! Oh, yeah! Gosh, I'm good. Yes, you're so good. Bingo! This is pretty... This Gosh, is I'm good. so much easier than air hockey. Nailed it! Nailed it! Uh. Bingo! Nailed it! Imagine if she were like, Scopa! Darn it. Every time she got one. Eight... I did it! Seven. Yes! Gosh, I'm good. Oh, darn it. That works. Nailed it! Nailed it! Nuts. All right! All right! I played it too fast and loose. You win. Kudos. Yup. Here's the photo of Megan you wanted. Yay. Great. Looks like I'll have to take a picture of a picture.
Want to play again? No, thanks. Need anything else? Is it true you're here on a scholarship? That's right. Athletic. Full ride. Although I have to maintain a pretty high grade point average in order to keep it. Just Luckily say GPA. Me, that's not a problem. What would happen if you got injured and couldn't play sports for the rest of the year? They'd probably pull my scholarship, so not only would I not be valedictorian, I wouldn't even be able to graduate, which would really shoot holes in my future. So if I get injured again and I find out it's this black cat person's fault, believe me, she's gonna wind up injured too. Would it be okay if you weren't the valedictorian? It'd be okay with the school, but it sure wouldn't be okay with me. No matter what I'm competing in, I always play to win. The nice thing is, I usually do. Well, that's just nice. I'll check back with you later. Hit him hard. Yup. Okay, let's upload this. Um, we also need to do this. Looks like I need a key. No, we don't. Becca, what are you doing? I'm telling. Ah, uh, you jerk. You have just received three demerits. That's not so bad. But Izzy, you, you. Sounds like the black cat stalking Izzy. Yeah, haha, ha, that's what you get for telling on me, you jerk. Like, what a what a what a nudge. <sighs> I guess let's go ask Kareen for the key. Like a noob. What's up, Rumi? Do you know where I can get the key that opens the special collections cabinet in the library? You can get it from me. How bad do you want it? Uh, kind of bad. There's a book in the collection I'd really like to look at. Okay, here's the deal. I'll give you the key to the cabinet if you can finish these orthographic views for me. How do I do that? Just figure out which views go with which object. Each object has a front, top, and side view. Those are examples in case you need them. I can do that. Bring them back when you're done. Okay, Anything this... Anything else? This see you in a and bit. what Izzy Enjoy. wanted is definitely cheating. Like doing the DNA thing for Izzy and this this is cheating. Okay? That's what this is. This is cheating. Hold on. I know the okay. I had the solutions written down. I knew they were somewhere cuz I'm not good at this. I have no desire to be good at it, quite frankly. You finish those ortho views for me? There you go. Looks great. Thanks. You're darn right it looks Here's good. Here's the key to the cabinet. Whatever books you take out, be sure to put them back when you're done. They're too old and fragile to carry around. I will. And leave the key in the lock. I'll grab it later. Anything else? I've bugged you enough. See ya. Suit yourself. The Story of Four by Madeline Moore. This is about Rita Hollowell. Basically, she was born in Baltimore, Maryland, and she wanted to be a teacher. Or she wanted to study literature, but she became a nurse instead. And uh, she met Edgar Allan Poe, and they became friends or whatever. And yeah, that's basically what happened. And this is important because we need to see this. Oh, we also have to talk to Rachel. I'll do that in the next video. I think I'm going to stop here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hit subscribe to stay tuned for the next part, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!